Hello and welcome to The View from the IDB. I'm here with Ron Keaton, who is the Head for Global Financial Institutions for the Americas. Ron, thank you for joining me. Uh, so there is quite a lot of liquidity in the markets in Latin America. How is that affecting your business? Well, what we're seeing is, uh, with the amount of liquidity in the market, that banks are typically, as they have uh, maturing medium-term uh, facilities, whether it be syndications or even um, bonds, they're typically not renewing right now because they have liquidity. How is, how is that affecting your business and the kind of products and services you're offering to the same clients? Right. Well, what it's doing is it's, it's, it's not giving as much opportunity to lend uh, on a medium-term basis, so we're focusing more on our short-term lending. Um, so we, we have that, that going on in the market, and then um, you know, there's other regulatory uh, matters that, that we're facing as well. So give me some information about that. I know you have a couple of products which are actually quite interesting. Let's right. hear it. Right. So we have uh, on the uh, interest rate derivative side, um, we uh, under the Dodd-Frank regulation, uh, banks are required to clear uh, derivatives in the marketplace. So we have a service called Futures Clearing Merchant, FCM is the acronym. And that's a service whereby we clear for banks when they uh, have a derivative transaction. Uh, so uh, we, uh, we, we put together this uh, FCM uh, arrangement or service uh, a number of years ago, and we sold it pretty actively into the U.S. market, and now we're actively selling into the Latin American market. What's happening is, under the Dodd-Frank reg uh, regulation, uh, there's, uh, you know, it's not, there's, there's, uh, it's not as consistent with the global, because in Europe, they're not requiring, EMIR, which is the uh, regulation there, is not requiring uh, clearing. Mm -hmm. So our Latin American banks are actually doing the derivative transactions through providers out of Europe right now because they don't have to clear. Uh, but that, Emir will also uh, have a clearing requirement coming up and uh, they extended it recently but we think maybe at the end of this year. So we're trying to get as many of our banks set up on the FCM products so that they're in position to clear through, uh, through the U.S. and meet Dodd-Frank regulation. So that's, uh, that's an opportunity for us. What about regulation coming out of Europe, which is the one that is uh, now prompting you to create new products? Um, well, we also have the uh, liquidity coverage ratio under Basel. And so with the uh, li liquidity coverage ra ratio under Basel, bank-to-bank um, -bank deposits, so whereby we would take a deposit from our bank customer, uh, if it's a non-transactional deposit, there's, we get no credit for liquidity. There's no liquidity credit. Mm -hmm. That's part of the liquidity coverage ratio under Basel. However, if the deposit has a transactional nature to it, uh, we get some credit. Not 100%, but we get some credit. So we've been moving our uh, deposits, trying to move our deposits from uh, the non-transactional into transactional. We have a sweet product. So uh, once the transaction's clear at the end of the day, debits and credits clear, uh, excess balances can be swept into an interest-bearing account. However, we have to keep the uh, transactional, uh, the transactional value or the, the deposit value has to match the transactional value. So that's one thing we have to manage. But that's as a result of regulation. That's another thing that we're um, we've been working on is a migration from non transactional deposits to transactional deposits. How is the market responding to this Latin American market? Um, actually quite well because in some cases uh, we have, you know, when these types of things happen, if you're sort of the market leader in terms of, try or the leader in terms of trying to adjust to it, maybe sometimes your competitors haven't, therefore you're kind of out there standing alone. But in this case, our, um, our competitors ha are in the same position and our bank customers are telling us they're hearing the same thing from the other providers in terms of this liquidity coverage ratio. So, that's, yeah. so that's that's at least a couple of products to keep an eye on right. for the future. Thank you very much for your comments. You're welcome. Thank you.